there are four different tools for drawing decks. From the Deck tab, there are two tools that will automate part of that process. From the Deck tab, click the Deck Wall Trace tool. Click a wall in the 2D design window to designate the start of the defining rectangle. Hold the mouse button down as you extend the deck out to the outer edge of the deck. Release the button and the deck will automatically conform to the wall perimeters. It fills the deck in for spaces where the deck point has a perpendicular wall. This tool automatically turns off railings that are in front of the walls. From the Deck tab, click the Custom Deck Wall Trace tool. Using your left mouse button, drag the cursor along a wall to designate the direction for the deck. Releasing the mouse button, click a point along a wall to define a corner point on the deck. Continue clicking points to define other corners shaping the deck. Right click to finish the deck shape. The trace capability will automatically draw the deck following the house perimeter. Notice that no handrails appear in front of the house, while the rest of the deck has handrails. The basic deck tools work exactly the same, with the only difference being the addition of a railing. Click points to define bend or corner points around the deck platform. When the deck shape is outlined, right click to finish. Notice that the basic deck tools either put handrails around the whole deck or none at all. It's easy to change the properties and shape of the deck. Just select a deck edge and click the Include Handrail to toggle the handrail on or off. To change the height of a deck platform, select the deck perimeter and change the height value in the tool options. In some cases, you may end up with overlapping posts. You can select a deck corner and toggle the post off or on from the tool options. You can also manually place railings. From the Deck tab, click the Deck Railing tool. From Tool Options on the right, choose a Draw Method. Click points to define the railing based on the drawing method selected. If it is an open shape, right-click to finish. By default, the railing will be placed on the ground. Select the railing if it is not selected. You can change the railing properties with settings in the tool options. To change the elevation of the railing, click the Object Elevation drop-down and choose Deck Surface. 